Wir sind im Oktober 2023 und unser Thema ist Klimawandel. Ich bin verbunden mit Kollege Luis Sievers, Synodalfahrer in Südbrasilien im Bundesstaat Rio Grande do Sul. Jina langu naitwa Maro Mika Maua na mimi natoka Kenya. Na mimi ni mwanaharakati wa masuala ya mabadiliko ya tabia nchi na kwa sasa nafanya kazi ya kujitolea katika kanisa letu la kiinjili la Kiluteri hapa nchini Kenya. Guten Tag. My name is Felicia Go and I work as a senior engineer in the energy services sector in Malaysia. Hi, my name is Warren Meguti. Um, I work with the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Papua New Guinea uh, based here in Leampo. My name is Aris Gomez. I am pastor in the Lutheran Church in El Salvador in Central America in charge of the gender and family program. My name is uh, Deacon Samson Ofuru. Uh, Deacon from Tanzania, working at the ELCT Northern Diocese in the center of Shiriko Diakonia Faraja. Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Ako si Apolos Domingo, nagmula sa Bansang Pilipinas. Ako ngayon ay nasa Germany para sa isang taong volunteer program sa ilalim ng Mission Annual. The specific impact of climate change here can be seen most notably in flash floods, more extreme weather changes, and higher average temperatures. Flash floods in particular have resulted in repeated property damage, loss of income, and loss of many lives. Higher temperatures and extreme weather changes have also been severely affecting the health and well-being of the people. The truth of the matter is that um, the Horn and Sub-Saharan Africa continues to face the pangs of the extreme droughts year in, year out. Fatal, life-taking floods continue to affect the least developed countries. A good example is South Africa. In Kenya alone, we have had to face a persistent famine period that took over three million livestock, leaving our people suffer as a result of climate action. We cannot ignore the high rising sea levels that many, many other countries are facing. And as a result, this has had to affect countries we continue to languish in poverty. Most of the times we face wars between communities. There are conflicts because the little resources left leave the youth scrambling and fighting for. This update is uh, usually with the, now today, these days with the high rainfall. There's been high rainfall in Lay for some times, uh, not just this year but in the last few years we have been seeing high rainfalls and uh, one of the challenges also is the uh, increased population in those areas in the rural I mean most Papua New Guinea the population is increasing uh, and with the uh, more population in villages um, because most villages are dependent on the, the forest for food and for shelter and even for gardening they cut down forests and with the increased population it has increases the demand for uh, cutting down more forest to plant food gardens, even wood for making houses and other things. And that the need for the consumption of wood and cutting down the forest has uh, increased also the, uh, the dangers and the risk of uh, when there's too much rain, um, the forest that usually absorb a lot of water has been cut down and there's a high level of um, um, surface water. And this has seen that also floods it has increases the level of floods in the in some of the inland and also it has uh, caused landslides that have never been uh, seen before. Climate change impact in most of the coastal areas we, have, we all know is the high sea level rise. And sea level rise I'm sure many of us know um, it has been a challenge to many uh, low coastal communities in the Pacific and also in other um, island countries. 
um, with also the economic challenges and with the sea level rise with limited land they have it has also been a challenge that the sea level rise has contaminated uh, water sources because there's salt content in the land and the water sources has Samahan niyo akong tuklasin ang pagbabago ng klima sa Pilipinas. Rapid climate change is one of the most issues worldwide nowadays. Multiple groups are having discussions about our responsibility when it comes to nature. But as a Christian, what is our stand in this climate crisis? And what is our role as a stewards of great creation? Philippines is the most typhoon visited country in the world, raging for 20 cyclones per year. According to Virginia Lorraine, climate justice campaigner Greenpeace, Philippines was one of the most vulnerable countries. Each individual should also take a step in carrying our environment. There's a lot of climate actions and programs conducted by the government. But it should start from us. According to the specific impact of climate change is the water scarcity and poor agricultural production. There is global warming that is increasing due to the deforestation of our lands with the excessive construction of new urbanization in areas where there are aquifers. Other impacts are contaminated food, contaminated land, and deforestation. The impacts are felt in our vulnerability to each climate event. Every rain or every summer is hiding some sector of population with slight lights drought, poor harvest, or flood. Every weather event has at least one negative effect that affects the suffering of human lives. When the weather uh, changes, we see normally there is intense of rainfall and this can cause flood or if the weather changes also or temperature increase it can also cause drought when the temperature or the rainfall becomes more there we see a flood might happen and the flood can cause uh, some problems to the people especially there you can see there is a, a destruction of infrastructure and also it can cause uh, the damage of the house and also face challenges when the house is being damaged or destroyed by the flood people they might lose a place uh, to stay and there we see uh, when the flood came it also caused uh, erosion of the soil but also diseases can be uh, taken from one place to another. We see during the flood, water also becomes dirty. Hier merken wir, dass die Jahreszeiten sich verändert haben. Wir merken nicht mehr so ein großer Unterschied zwischen den Jahreszeiten. Manchmal haben wir kein, kein klares Winter mehr. Ne? Im Sommer fühlen wir auch Kälte manchmal. Ne? Die Regenzeiten sind, mir nicht, sind nicht mehr regulär, die Regenzeiten. Das ist ein. Wir wohnen hier in einer Region, wo immer Überschwemmungen gab es. Aber zwischen einer und anderen Überschwemmungen, die Zeit ist kürzer geworden. Und zuletzt hatten wir hier einen Zyklon gehabt, eine Menge Klima 
Klimafaktoren sind zusammengekommen und gab es ja eine große Überschwemmung. Wir äh, bekommen ja auch hier in Europa schon Nachrichten immer wieder aus Brasilien. Jetzt zurzeit eine große Dürre im Amazonasgebiet. Äh, und da genau. werden jetzt auch alle Extreme nochmal neu gelegt. Also nie gab es so eine große Trockenheit seit der Aufzeichnungen. On October 11, 2023, as part of our commitment to reduce the impact of climate change, the Malaysian government passed the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Bill, which aims to regulate large electricity and gas consumers from both industry and commercial sectors. These large consumers will need to hire or train their own in-house energy manager, complete an energy audit and prepare an energy management plan. Uh, the country has started to instruct the, the farmers especially uh, to find the seeds which can tolerate uh, droughts uh, so that when they plant it, it can, if the rain will be short, that, uh, have this, that crops can tolerate and later they can have harvest. But the other thing, uh, the country has started to instruct the, the farmers, especially, uh, to find the... There are initiatives of the church with the civil society that raised a prophetic voice against destructive companies and government policies that do not protect creation. An, an important initiative is developed with youth. They are the group most commit to action for climate justice from the church. They carry out education, awareness, environmental care, and community advocacy actions. Another initiative are women and men for improvement of crops through responsible agriculture and community action with the cultivation of vegetables without agrochemicals. We are convinced that empowering communities of the issue of climate justice is what would help climate change have less of an impact on our lives. We need water and food, and our initiative is to be able to save them from contamination and to be able to save the current ecological reserves. As a church, we work to raise conscientiousness and become true as stewards of the creation. I said earlier, it's not just about education, but it's about gender inequality. And indeed, the situation calls for an urgent appeal. But I want to thank our government. I want to thank the leadership of the day that continues to govern the people of Africa, the continents, and least developed countries because we've come up with good initiatives. Number one, we have managed to bring on board the youth who continue to raise awareness. And the youth have come up with a network. A good example is the Global Young Reformers of the Lutheran World Federation. The Climate Yes, a global ecumenical movement. And together with many other uh, networks, the youth have decided to stand as a shield to not only defend ourselves, but also the future generation. I also want to applaud to applaud the voices of the faith-based organizations. And they have come up to form an ecumenical movement. A good example is the Lutheran World Federation, the ACT Alliance, the Mission One Aids, who keep on raising awareness and advocating for this change. Lastly, as I try to finish, we have had to go to the ground and come up with initiatives like tree planting, restoration of oceanic biodiversity, which again are in line with our own government policies when the president directed us and together with some other organizations on how best we can survive by planting at least a billion trees each and every year. A lot has to be done. Zuletzt haben wir hier gemerkt, also es kann nicht mehr so sein. Ne? Der Klimawandel trifft uns auch. Diese große Überschwemmung in den äh, das war eine große Katastrophe. Wir haben hier Leben verloren und die Regierung hat dann reagiert. 
und muss jetzt dann einen Plan aufstellen. Ne? Man hat es auch gemacht so. Ähm, die Kirche hat schon immer äh, gegen Klimawandel was, was gemacht. Und jetzt sind wir dabei, äh, mit den Gemeinden und Gruppen zu arbeiten, ne? wie wir uns denn dagegen stellen können, wegen Klimawandel. So there's been some initiative uh, taken by the government and also there's some, uh, yes, by the government especially uh, to try address this issue, especially with those in the highlands. And it's mostly with uh, educating the people on the changes of uh, the impacts of climate change and the changes to weather pattern and all this it has affected the traditional uh, routine that people know when to plant and <clears throat> also to know that their, their, their use, proper use of resources like the forest and the woods and everything that it, it has created, it has affected them. They, they became the victim of their own actions. And this basic awareness is something very important as well for these communities that uh, they have to manage their land properly. They can replant the forest again. Uh, they have to plant certain crops that are, are more um, adapted adapting to those uh, climate change and all these things so that the resistance to certain weather conditions all these things so these are uh, some of the best practices uh, so far i've seen that the government has tried to uh, reach out to these communities to address these issues because climate action summit aims to educate us with the word of god about our role as stewards of god's creation to equip us and to take action it was the first act of the Lutheran Church Youth concerning the environment. This action started 2021 and simultaneous until this year. In partnership with the national environmental agencies, we conducted seminars about environmental stewardship, carbon footprints, biodiversity and climate change, and climate action initiatives. Both online and on-site participants eagerly listened and participated in the discussion. Recycling, composting, planting at backyard to reduce one-time use plastics. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. As part of the culminating activity, we have dedicated an acacia tree to serve as a reminder of our God-given role as stewards of creation. Equipped with God's word and guided by the Holy Spirit, we're ready to take climate action now. There are many ways in which we can reduce the impact of climate change. It is never too little or too late.